Our next installment in Getting Started with Civil War Civilian Reenacting. Let me let you in on a secret. Being a beginner is really, really hard. It's frustrating and it's maddening. And let me explain why. I think this graph is very helpful. It talks about how we all start in unconscious incompetence. We don't know what we don't know. From there, we move into conscious incompetence. We know what we don't know, but we don't know how to get out of it. Eventually, with a lot of work and good resources, we move into conscious competence. We know where to research, we know how to research, we know who to trust, but it's still a lot of work. And eventually, maybe one day, we'll become one of those experts and we'll go to unconscious competence. Now, you may be going, huh? So let me give you an example. I'm going to start with where you're unconsciously competent. Here is a swimsuit and a leotard. We immediately know the difference between these garments. If someone walks down the street with one versus the other, we know it's a leotard. We know it's a swimsuit. Could you describe the differences? That's kind of hard, but, but we know which is which. And, and if one's someone's wearing a leotard at a pool, we'd kind of look at them side-eyed. So we are unconsciously competent. We don't know why we know, but we know it and we're right. Now let's go to a completely different example. Here is a picture that you might research and find online. You like, I love this picture. I want to make a dress just like this. Well, here's the problem. Do you know what fabric it's made of? You think you might, but maybe you're wrong. You don't know the fabric technology at the time. For that matter, do you even know exactly when this picture was taken? It might not even be during the Civil War period. Do you know what color it is? Well, color is not exactly the same in period photographs. Yellow looks super dark and light blue looks almost like white. You also don't know how the dress was constructed or how the details were attached without looking at originals that are similar. You're not sure where this lady would have worn the dress or whether it's her best dress or a casual dress. A huge amount of things that you don't know. And so when a newbie posts, hey, I'm going to make this dress and here's my reproduction of it, the experts, those who are unconsciously competent or consciously competent, jump in, but, 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 but this is wrong and that's wrong and here's why. And it can be very frustrating to a newbie. And that's why I find this graph super fascinating. It talks about the stress, which I read as frustration, as you move out of unconscious incompetence and into conscious incompetence. It's not easy. It's a lot of work. And this graph with its cute little funny emojis. It talks about the phases, denial, you don't know, you don't know, fear, oh gosh, I don't know, anger, and resistance. Now I find the anger and resistance fascinating because we see this a lot on discussion boards. Well, what if they didn't take pictures of everything? What if there was people who wore clothes that was 20 years out of date? I do, and a lot of resistance going on. And then eventually acceptance. You accept that other people know more and you should listen to what they're saying. Sometimes I can get frustrated and angry on Facebook boards because I feel like there's some folks out there that think you should get to conscious competence before you can put a stitch in a piece of fabric. And I think that's just craziness. I think it's perfectly fine to make your own dress and wear it while you're still in conscious incompetence. But in this scenario, you need to really follow the norms and make a really basic outfit, something really bog common, and not start making your own interpretations or copy something very fancy from a fashion plate. If you want to do this, you're going to need to do an awful lot more research and start becoming your own expert. In order to assist you with identifying these bog common clothing, I have compiled a guide 
what I'm calling the guide to the guides. You'll find a link in the description on YouTube directly. Hopefully you've found this helpful and makes you feel a little more patient with yourself and the mental process of being a beginner. Bear with it. You're going to get there. Have a great day because it's lots of fun. Bye-bye.